How's it going guys, Jacob here. Today I've got the Kawai ES120 Digital Piano. This is a ideal starter piano for a lot of people. A lot of you guys out there that want something that's affordable, that just has some really good sounds, not a ton of sounds, lots of features and buttons and things to, to learn and do. It's really just a great piano for if you wanna sit down and practice. All the capabilities it has, some extra things like Bluetooth, collaboration with, compatibility with apps, companion apps you can get on Android and iOS. It's just, it's really great piano. Uh, for the price, for where it is, and as you'll hear, it has some really nice sounds too. All right, so let's hear this thing. I'll just start with the pianos, which of course are sampled from Kawai pianos, grand pianos, and uprights. So here's just the number one piano, which you get on this instrument. Luckily, the white key glissando triad thing works on this, so that's that's a big selling point. So it's a very nice sounding grand piano. Um, here's some other variations. So you can hear you get a lot of variety just within the piano library of sounds. Uh, some that are kind of bright, some that are kind of dark, different attacks. This one that I just landed on has a nice warm sound. Probably nice for ballads. Few more variations. Here's some of the electrics.
Yeah, really nice, got a tremolo on it. Mm. A few more pianos. Much more intense. Sounds like we've got a Wurlitzer. Another sound. There's our DX7. So we've got a few organs there. Got an organ there. Gotta have a pipe organ too. And we're back. Now, in the other category, it's really a mix of a lot of things, but this is where you're gonna start finding some synth stuff, bass, things like that. So let's check it out quickly. Uh, so this patch, a little bit more immediate. The other one was kind of a slow build to the strings. This one's giving us a quicker dynamic. Electric bass, so we had acoustic, here's electric. Ah, classic, a lot of pianos have this. Can be very useful on gigs, is the old bass with the cymbal sound.
and you can do splits and things like that on this keyboard. So you could really split the left hand to be that bass and cymbal. You have a piano on your right hand, be great for gigs, especially if you're doing some jazz stuff. Everybody needs harpsichord. Now that you've gotten a sampling of the 25 sounds you get on this keyboard, I'll talk a little bit more about some of the features and things. Again, I kind of labeled this piano as a great practice tool, and it's because it has a lot of things built into it that make it great for someone that wants to practice. So a metronome, pretty standard thing, but very useful when practicing. I mentioned the apps. There are some apps you can get um, that just expand what this keyboard can do, and a lot of that stuff is educational in nature. Um, for the learning pianist. The Bluetooth is one of those things, being able to pipe in the track you're working on so you can hear it, you can play along and be learning all at the same time. Uh, it's also, of course, got USB, so you can use it with a computer, with a DAW as a MIDI controller, which is one of the great things also, again, about having a keyboard like this, not just if you're gonna be a practicer or you're maybe a beginner or intermediate player, maybe you're a scorer or somebody that place enough piano and you write, but you want something that's 88 keys, got some nice onboard sounds, and you can use it as a controller when you're writing, you're working on your computer. This could be ideal for that. A Couple more things, you can transpose the instrument. There's a button for that there. There's also an onboard recorder, classic thing that you wanna have on a digital piano to be able to practice because you can record yourself and hear it back instantly. So I've given some reasons why you would think of this as a practice piano, a home piano, but it could really be a great gigging piano too. Again, if you're not really looking for, you know, a big stage piano with tons of sounds, lots of functions, this could be really nice. I, I've played a lot of gigs uh, in my time as a musician on keyboards like this. And sometimes, you know, especially for like trio gigs, if you're doing jazz stuff or just solo piano, this could work really great. And the point I wanna make on that is 88 keys, hammer action, but only 26 pounds. I carry a lot of times a keyboard around that's like twice that weight, and it's a great piano, but it's it's not fun. So if you want something portable that still sounds good, this could fit that. There are a couple optional accessories you can get in addition to the piano that you can get for the ES120. You can get a pedal unit and stand, which is one of those classic kind of wooden built-in stands. It's nice, it makes it look a little bit more kind of like a piece of furniture, kind of a mainstay kind of thing. And if you're looking again to set it up in your practice room, your studio, in the living room, that could be a really nice addition. And with the pedal unit, you get the triple pedal. So you get all pedals, not just damper. The ES120 has onboard speakers. That's actually what I've been using to listen in the video. Sometimes we use some monitors that we have, but it's really nice right now because we're going out of the stereo out to record, but I'm still hearing through the speakers. Also, just a small aside for me, I think this keyboard looks cool too. I like the design stripe here. This is the gray one. They also have it in white and black, so you do have those options. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click here for more videos like this one, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs. Mm -hmm.